What's up guys, my name is Greg. I am an iOS developer here in Australia and in this video I'm going to show you how you can set up your website with free hosting. Alright, so the purpose of this video is to enable you to have a website without having to pay for hosting every month. So a lot of service provide providers for website builders, they will charge you a monthly subscription, which in my case doesn't make too much sense because if you have a personal website that it's a one page website with your portfolio, with what you do, maybe your, I don't know, your photos, your social media links, then you don't really need to update this every time. So I think it doesn't really justify to be paying for a monthly subscription when you don't really update the website that much. So in this video I'm going to show you how you can have a website that you don't pay for hosting. So to follow along in this tutorial you will need to have some kind of basic website that you want to deploy to Firebase and you will need an account in Firebase which is free and that's it. So let's take a look at how to set up this. I'm going to be using Webflow because that's the website builder that I use to build some of my websites. And one of the reasons that I use, use it is because of its functionality to export the code. Plus they have nice looking websites, nice templates and designs, very flexible and easy to use. So they're not sponsoring this video, by the way. All right, so we're going to have a look at the site. This is basically my website on Webflow and it's very simple. It's just a site to keep track of who I am, what projects am I working on, what are my skills and my social media links. So if you want to export the code, you just need to go into the button that says export code. It's going to prompt you for an account if you don't already have one, a paid account, which you can do and a note on that so if you don't have a paid account you can create one for free and then you can create your website and when you want to export the code you can upgrade to a paid account that will let you download the code and then basically you can cancel the subscription so you will be only paying for one month which is much better than paying for a whole year in which you don't really update the website so once you set that up you can download the code from here okay so once you downloaded the code you're gonna go to firebase to set up the project which is gonna host your website so go to firebase create a new project name your project whatever you want and then follow the steps to finalize and create the project so allow for analytics, sure. And uh, use the default account here. And then this is gonna go and do some work, create the project for you, and that's it. Now, once that completes, you can click continue and this will navigate to your Firebase project dashboard. And here you can see on the left all the things that you can do with Firebase. We're going to go into hosting and this lets you control the things that you have to control to be able to set up your website. So you're going to need to install something on the command line and then basically use the Firebase tool to initialize your project into your folder directory and then upload the code. So we're gonna go and do that now. So back on your computer, create a folder where you want to add the files from your website. Name it whatever you want. I'm naming mine website. And then in this step, you need to be able to navigate to this path of the folder in the terminal. So to do that, I generally like to use this extension from the finder which lets you create a terminal at the path in which you are from the folder structure. So to do that, you can go to 
define their preferences and add the functionality to open up a terminal in the folder that you're in. So by default, I already have it set on because I use this quite often. So open up the terminal. You're gonna have to have installed in your command line the tools from Firebase. If you haven't done that already, then follow the links below and you'll find a more detailed tutorial on how to do that. I already have it installed in my computer so I can just log in into Firebase from the terminal and this will let me do things in my project in Firebase. So to do that, we go to Firebase login. This is gonna basically log you in into your Firebase account. It's gonna pop up a web browser so that you can select the account that you want to use for Firebase. Once it's done, uh, you're logged in. You can close up the website and go back to the terminal. And then back in the terminal, you want to do the command Firebase init. This is going to initialize the project into your folder so that you can set it up for hosting the website. So the first thing that it's going to ask you is what kind of project do you want to set up for? And we are going to choose the option for hosting websites. So you press the arrow keys to navigate, press, press the spacebar, and that's going to select that option. Hit enter. Next, it's going to ask you if you want to use an existing project or create a new one. Hit existing one, and this is gonna show you the projects that you have on Firebase. Select the one you just created on the dashboard. Mine is demo, website demo. Now, uh, the next question is, what do you want to use as your public directory? Um, they already give you the option of public, so we're gonna go ahead with that. Just hit enter. Configure as a single app. Yes. So type Y and enter. And then that's gonna set up your Firebase project. So if you then navigate to the actual folder, you will see that this tool has added some extra files. And under the public folder is where you're going to add all the files that you exported from Webflow. So you can see that Firebase also created an index.html that's a very simple website that's basically showing you that the project was set up correctly and it basically spit out this simple website for you to try on. Um, this is gonna all be replaced by the files that you grab from Webflow. So let's go ahead and do that. You click on index and you're gonna see that it's gonna show you the website that you have in Webflow. So from there, you go back to the terminal and type Firebase deploy. And this is basically going to upload all these files into Firebase. Once it's done, you can go back to the Firebase dashboard and you're going to see the websites in the links in there. If you click on one of the links, it's gonna take you to the websites as it is being hosted by Firebase. And that's it, you've successfully deployed a website to Firebase. If you want to add a custom domain or connect your custom domain, then you can click on that blue button that is gonna help you to set up the the main configuration so that your domain is pointed to this website. Um, that basically means that you're gonna go into your domain service provider and you're gonna change a few of the values in the configuration in there so that that points to this website from Firebase. And that's it. That's all for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you on the next one.